Welcome to the Ron Dance Show. And now, the Ron Dance Show. So before we started the show, me and Jazz got into a fender bender in the in the, in the, <laughs> in, the in the parking lot. Yeah, I was racing for a parking spot. Alex <laughs> called <laughs> Risk Out Ricky Glowy. Not not sure if that's a word or not. It is <laughs> Glowy. Mm-hmm. Okay, and we had an issue with the food, so it's been a, we get we get off to a, 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 a I'm hungry a great a great a great start is what we're is what we're doing. Yeah, it's a long day. Yes, it's been a long day. It's definitely been a long day. But you find out if glowy is a word, please. It Absolutely. is a word. Yeah, it has to be a word. Totally a word. Why, why, why does it have Why does it have to be a word? Because it's, it was in Seventeen magazine. It just, oh. it's, a, it's an adjective. Uh, you can read Seventeen. There's only one person here that's Seventeen. Is that sitting at this table? <laughs> That for sure has read really something. Yeah. You ever what, what magazines did you read when you read highlights? Highlights. Did you read highlights? Hi- I, yeah. Okay, first of all, don't disrespect highlights. <laughs> I got a highlights in the trunk for Skull Daughter right now. A highlights is, was a good time. It's a classic. Especially it was a doctor's office classic. 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 That's classic. for sure. Not to mention when you had to find the uh, the picture, they had the picture at the find. That's part of the whole. Yeah. Oh my god, I live for that. I just live for that though. I never read the articles though. Never. <sighs> It was that and the jokes. That was yeah. it. Oh, my gosh. What, what were the articles about and highlights? I no mean, way. like, all <laughs> no. kinds of, like, games. You could learn new games and... Are they still printing highlights? Yeah. Yes, they are. Really? I just said I have some in the trunk for Skull oh, Daughter. I, I didn't know if it was an old version. I know it was a throwback. <laughs> no. I didn't know how I know. They still got it. Rick, you find out how long highlights been around. Okay. Definitely. The last magazine I read was... I was in elementary school and my, in the back of the barber shop. He had... My barber got, like, a stack of jets. Oh, so yeah. I know, I know. Uh, you went straight to the middle to find a beauty of the week. Yo, barber, <laughs> you are a creep. Does that barbershop have like the pictures? And you know the ones I'm talking about. Yeah, like, for the, sure. Like, the, yeah, oh my sure. god, you know the ones. <laughs> Which one? The collage where it's like What's the it? fade. You can pick your haircut. Yeah, you pick your haircut yeah. yeah. by number. He got a new one. I'm on there. Oh, what? Really? Okay. <laughs> for what? For your go-to? Model? For for the whole the whole cut? He oh, he the, made his own because yeah. some of them are just uniform like pictures. You yeah. Yeah. Oh, he got his own. Oh, he dropped his own. He got his own. He yeah. fancy. Yeah. Oh, you made the cut. I made the cut. Congratulations. I know the with what are you, Mr. November, Mr. <laughs> December? Which one are you? <laughs> <laughs> I think it, I, I want to sound like. 13 or something like 13? that. Yeah, 13? Let me get nice. a 13. When, what did you, wait, your lineup and your... Yeah, one, like the, the taper with the You are getting a little hair on the side, though, you I know, can't say. And I'm growing it out a little bit. It's a little yes. bit there. Yeah. You know. Risk it Ricky, last magazine. I read magazines all the time, so I don't even know. To, I want to say it's good housekeeping, Still? honestly. Yeah. Good housekeeping. My coworker, um, they, well, not only was it my coworker, the division on the hall had a stack of magazines, and I was like, ooh, let me get this. You still in magazines? I yeah, mean, it was for everybody that had. You, it was for people to get. <laughs> Low key, be real people steal magazines from doctor's office for sure. You said, oh, um, I believe that. Real people steal magazines. I definitely like, believe I, that. If you start, if you sit there long enough, you start reading article, you want to finish it. Mm-hmm. So you just like quick little. I take it in the room with me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on, you gotta wait a little bit longer when you get to the Even room. Even when you anyway. go to the gynecologist. That's where I get the good. Well, Listen, my, that's she don't the have the, need one. She don't have any more. But back when her old office, she used to have so many magazines. So, Listen. so you, so you enjoy a good magazine while you know how the gyno was taking care of you. You gotta wait. Okay, I'm gonna say you heard this in the gynecologist, but, but of course you have it. Yeah, yeah but yeah, they exactly. have like so one of them. I was laying there, and it's a picture of the ocean on the ceiling. Yeah, so, they, they're trying to calm you down. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> Reading like a Playboy or, or, or a Penthouse or something while you're at your OBGYN. No, they got like Cosmo. Not, they have ladies journals. Oh. Uh, uh. Well, the guys, you know, if you are if there for like a fertility, you know, situation, you gotta give a sample. So, yeah, they oh, they give have, you. Mm, the they have never like heard of that. Ricky, find out what they give you when you go get uh, sperm sample, samples. Please. Like how much magazine? money you want? Or? No, no, like oh. like what they what, like the, the services they offer to help you get excited. <laughs> they don't offer, some places <laughs> have the a product. little TV with like. Yeah, they have like selections. Like, magazines. You was gonna be out in public. It's getting some people. It was a thing. Oh, the, I watched that on TLC. The amount of conversations we've had here today are not. As, <laughs> so you mean to tell me? I, I don't think I ever really thought about how to, how how. I thought in my head they send you at home, like like a at home kit. You take care no. of the crib, light a candle at the crib, no. get something comfortable, Mm-mm. put some nice music they on. The, they gotta make sure the, the sperm doesn't die. Yeah. yeah. 
maybe some Luther. No, they need the situation has to be sterile, and they have to make the you know sperm dies. Like so, they they need to look at it, freeze it, or whatever they're gonna do. See, I thought it was at home kit. So no. you mean tell me you can give blood with twenty three and me at the crib, but you can't mm. give sperm at the no. crib? No, you don't even give blood with twenty three and me. That's a spit swab. Yeah, which oh. is the same way as a home DNA test. Who mm. knew? This is all this is all yeah, new music to me. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Facts. Who knew? Last magazine you read? Um, the knot. <laughs> What's that? A um, wedding, wedding magazine. magazine. Oh my oh, god, yeah. I've been buying those nice. lately. See, I thought magazines were. I didn't, I didn't think people were still dropping magazines. I actually they have don't. a collection. Like I have yeah. like magazines I just like save. So I got like Jay Z yeah. who's on the cover of Blender, mm-hmm. <laughs> or like I have like old. I think I got an old one that had like Guilty Sims and Black Milk, and it was like sources. And okay. I'm just saying. Yeah, I, just I used to source. have my old ones, but I don't know where they are. But the last collectible one I got was I think it was People for Betty um, Betty White's birthday because you know it came out yeah. before she had died. Mm-hmm. I got Aaliyah's one that uh, somebody just that life just did I think mm-hmm. I the experience. source and vibe used to be my favorite dog oh I and Don Diva <laughs> I, I actually enjoyed Don, Don Diva, Diva dog it was so good how good was Don Diva dog Dub Dub oh my god I'm sorry Josh once upon a time there was a magazine called Dub Exactly. And it featured cars and rappers, and that's that was sweet. it. Like yeah, and booty it. models sometimes. Awesome. Yeah, booty models. So I King was, was really good for the booty King. models. Though. But yes. King was actually a really good magazine. And like, they would all be sitting models. on top of like twenty four inch rims. Like, you know what's crazy? Really so big. back in college, I was I was signed to a modeling agency, and they sent us. I want to say it was the, the King. We tried out for King, but that wasn't my vibe. Dang, you but I did. Th- but here in hindsight, I wish that it would have because I had the body. You should have did it, and I should have been a little bit more. But that that just wasn't my I like. I get it. I wasn't comfortable, but now I wish I would have done it. Like I wish I yeah. could have the confidence I have now and have done. You could at least have my, one good king picture in your house. Yeah. Like I also I once hosted an apple bottom uh, contest, like from Nelly, the actual rapper. Oh Nelly. my god, exactly. that's, that's, that's how you know it's time for you to retire from my life. Show. Can we talk about that? <laughs> Oh, for first sure. of all, there's for so sure. many layers of this. Number Nelly one, it's was definitely time for you to retire from nightlife. Yes. You said Esco. I said Esco, yes. You said Apple Bottom. And I'm about to say something else. The St. Lunatics were the judges. Oh, my God. Yo, Murphy Lee, <laughs> Ali, and Wait, Kiwa. is it when they had that little TV show contest thing? Uh, I, I think so. I can't oh, remember. That's so I was funny. A, I was a sophomore or freshman in college. Guess who won? Who? London Charles. Better known as. Delicious. Delicious. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Uh, she okay. <laughs> and her, no. her, her booty was natural. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if it is. I mean, I'm not sure if it is. Now I think she's definitely had some. Definitely a bit of yeah. had something. But she definitely won that thing. But she definitely has always had a butt. That's yeah. the only thing. Mm-hmm. And her, friend, sure. her friend is Shana, I think her name was. That's was crazy. The, was the second runner up. That's so wow. wild. Yes. Crazy, crazy life I lived, huh? <laughs> so, mm-hmm. um. <laughs> Couple week, uh, last week, uh, we had a guest on a show named Miss Corona. Mm-hmm. Oh, I love, dang, I missed her. Yeah, yeah she missed her. She was on the show. I am so sad. I was yeah. sick with a sinus infection. Yeah, she was here. So I couldn't bring it around, y'all. I'm not so, trying to get nobody you. sick. Thanks, I appreciate it. And I never got a chance to ask Jai that he know who Miss Corona was. Um, no, but I learned a you lot. You ever watch yeah, Mind, Vanessa know. from The Lunch Truck? For real? Yes, oh my God. I'm yes, so sick and tired. Yes, she at the, at the, at the Of cutting this yes. deal. That's her. They only give what? us 30 minutes to eat lunch and chill. Yes. Yeah. It's definitely Miss Corona, on, for sure. Dang. I didn't know what Dave you know had told me. That's crazy. No, I did not know that. Yeah. This, he literally don't know I nothing, love though. <laughs> that was like the first thing I said to her when I first heard it. He thought, he thought, really what really you, nice. you think Mara was? I thought he was just a regular guy. Me too. <laughs> Honestly, I did too. I had no clue until somebody was like, you know him? And I was like, Somebody did that to me too, but I knew who Marv was. I was Somebody did that to me yeah. too. Yeah, they were like, it's you know, weird. Marvin Quest McCody, Man. and I was like, people, I just met him. They love them. And they're like, oh my gosh. I was like, oh, well, that's cool. Especially people who stay across eight miles. They love him. Oh my God. They, they love him. Yeah, he's, he's, yeah, he's, yeah, he's, like, he's an East Side King. Whoa. For sure. Mm-hmm. But yes. Um, Them battling against each other. That was funny. Yeah, what was up with that? Tell I haven't her. watched I haven't, it. I, I saw I, a I clip. I haven't seen the clip. I haven't seen it. I like, I need to watch it. But that was just like yeah. the craziest thing I've like. I'm gonna ever. watch it because I want to. I want to see their craft, you know, them and their mood. But it was the clip I saw. Quest did something to Marv, and he was like, "Man, don't touch me!" And then it was like that pause, and you could tell like, he was just getting ready to go. And I- Oh, I gotta watch it. Oh, yeah, I definitely yeah. Need to, I need to see it. See, I wouldn't want to battle somebody who knew all my dirt. For mm. sure. That's why I'm like, this could get messy. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, yeah. I'm out. 
Like, yeah. I, can, I can never battle jazz or spit. <laughs> like, it just, like, you got this one, dog. Like, what are we gonna Yo, talk? you like, battle jazz. My money is on jazz. You know what? Yeah, the money be. is on jazz. Even if you sure. battle me, I'm calling, I'm gonna be like, say this word, because I know it's a bunch of words you can't say. And you can't even talk right now because of the break. I'm going in on you, dance. He trying to do a rhyme dance. You don't just battle me just now talking about his words. What words can I? <laughs> You might have tickled over there, uh, Joshua. <laughs> <laughs> that one, that was a, that was a pretty good joke, huh? I'm the battle hasn't even started yet. <laughs> What's some of the words I can't say? I do struggle with some words. I don't know, uh, misogynist. <laughs> can't say it or spell it or spell it. Uh, yeah. I can't remember. I have to run the show back and look at all. I just figure it's anything with an S. So <laughs> <laughs> at this point, it's, any, it's any and everything with an S. All right, we're not battling right now. Y'all know that, right? Okay. I'm just saying. All right, it just cut me a little bit of slack. Uh, Alice, do you think what what it, in your personal opinion? Is school as important as it was back in the day? Like, talk what college? Let's talk about. Let me talk about college. Yeah, I mean, of course you got to go to high school. Okay, so here is the thing, because I'm having this conversation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because a lot of the kids I know are graduating are taking gap years. They're okay. not going to college, okay. right? right? I think it's not only because like they've seen like our generation in terms of student debt, so they're like, why would I do mm-hmm. that, right? Right. I also think these kids is making real money way before we ever did in a mm-hmm. way fact. faster way. Fact, yeah. They got All boutiques, fact. they yeah. got TikToks, they, they got doing hair and nails. <laughs> Look, the hair yeah. and nails game is real. Yes. The sneaker resellers, the ones Ooh. who get a crypto, like these kids is making real money. So yeah, it's yeah, like mm-hmm. they can learn whatever they need yes. to get mm-hmm. and then just be like done with it. Uh-huh. But it depends on what they're going to school for. Exactly. You still yeah. have your doctors, you still have your lawyers, yes. you still have people mm-hmm. who have professions where they actually need to learn something. Mm-hmm. But then it's like a lot of them are picking up trade schools. A lot of them are getting into real need, estate. We need like, trade schools. Yeah. They're getting back into like actual working. So it's different. It's like no get quit. But I don't believe. See, for me personally, college was like it's one of those things that I did it more so for my mama. Like I'm a first generation college graduate. Like mm-hmm. we don't have college people in my family. We don't have anybody who's Greek. Like mm-hmm. that was just stuff that I had to learn on my own, right? But then it's like. It was cool because it taught me how to network, mm-hmm. right. but I was there for the social aspect and relationships of it. And this was all before social media. If I had social media back then, mm-hmm. I probably wouldn't have went. Yeah, because it's like my connection to people came from me being out or me having to be outside because of like this assignment or trying to do this and really trying to make a name for myself. If I could have did that behind a keyboard yes, back exactly. then, mm-hmm. you wouldn't have saw me. Because they're growing up in a completely different world than yeah. we grew up in. They have Absolutely. access to everything. Everything. So yeah. now for me, it's like it's not so much a about being able to like memorize stuff and know it is now it's about being able to access the information just get to the information that's yeah. all you gotta do now I believe really college only needs to be two years mm-hmm. I agree Ooh, but it I depends on think, what the, again yeah. depending on what you are going to but for yeah. like me like a journalism degree you really could do that in two years yeah you don't yeah. need all the extra stuff unless you're get, going into like politics you might want to be a mm-hmm. political major or whatever yes. but Beyond that, it's like, no, a lot of this stuff you can just, and a yeah. lot of degrees don't make sense. Art history is one of them. Like, a, a, yeah. it depends on how you're going to specialize in it. Because mm-hmm. nobody wants a, like, another thing is grade point averages. Who needs those anymore, right? Because the depends on C's get degrees, y'all. Let, me, on, tell, let me tell you, <laughs> absolutely. Because, you know, one of my things I always tell people is like, your degree don't say your GPA. It doesn't say how long it took you. It just literally says your name, your school, your degree. Mm-hmm. You know, so I tell people all the time, like, it took me six years to graduate. But I also have a chemical engineering degree. And that shit was hard. That's I know a dollar. dollar. <laughs> <laughs> that was hard. But also, like, don't let the pressures of getting out at four years bother you, stress you out. Because at the end of the day, I knew a handful, like, literally less than five people who graduated in four years. Mm-mm. And I'm not just talking about the people who were in. In college engineering like me, I'm talking about people across the board. But I definitely think it does depend on what you want to go to school for because you can't do my job and I have gotten a, a lot of education. But, you know, some jobs you don't really need a lot of education. And please go to trade school because we need more black plumbers, electricians, um, carpenters, all of that stuff, y'all. Tell them. Uh, yeah. we, also right? need, we also need a lot more black doctors, a black nurses, mm-hmm. black psychologists, black dermatologists. Oh, my God. Facts. We need way more black dermatologists, Facts. speech pathologists, teachers, teachers for real. Like, it's crazy. It's a lot. Like, but, I flunked out of read. I flunked out twice. I got kicked out of Central for my grades. Wow. My lowest GPA was like a 1-3. Yeah. That was my hard. freshman. Like, college is not easy. Like, and you I hate have- a class. I wasn't a bad student, though. All my professors love me. All of them gave me recommendations. Right. I just suck at testing. Yeah. And you have to have discipline. Yes. Well, we the person um, 
get out of school most recently. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> How do you feel? What do you feel about um, secondary education? <clears throat> I feel that all of that is true. Like, um, and this is something I'm also currently trying to figure out right now, even at 22, like trying to figure out where, like, what am I doing next? Or like, is like, I have this conversation with my Dukes all the time. Like, do I, necess- <laughs> do I necessarily need to go back to school? Cause yeah. like coming out of high school, she was always like, you gotta go to school. You gotta go to school. You gotta go to college and then me seeing all of these gateways and seeing everybody else like use their creative mind and not going to school and figuring out how to be just live without doing this long college years because I was never interested in high school or just going to school Mm -hmm. that often so it's like how can I use my creative mind or do something that I want to do to make a living yeah. Was, you could also trap a, if you want to. Yeah, you definitely. Could. <laughs> it's definitely a pipe dream, though. Yeah. Like, right. for me, this year is my 10th year, like, anniversary of graduating from college. Congratulations. Happy 10-year anniversary. Yeah. 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 Damn, you've been out of college for 10 years? But it took my it took me 10 years to actually land a job in a career field that I went to school oh, for. Oh, yeah. It's a, I don't even know how many years yeah, it took. I like, work. I worked <laughs> in retail for so long to the point where I was like, that's another way for me to make money. I should have just went to school. Mm-hmm. First of all, they yeah. pay great on retail corporate retail. Pay, yeah. They yeah, pay, nice. like six figures starting it's crazy yeah. but it was like I should have just did that and it was like I was at Macy's for like seven years then I went to DSW then I went to finish line before I landed at Metro Times yeah. like it took me 10 years and I'm not doing anything that I that I, that I went to school what'd for what'd you get your degree in uh, was it communication public relations I don't know, it was something like that yes oh. communication public relations well, yes and also you kinda are yeah to piggyback, a bit. To piggyback <laughs> off of uh, what, what you were saying because I wanted to say the word speech p- p- speech <laughs> but, but I don't want her to make fun of me again <laughs> We're back to your mother's favorite show, The Ron Dan Show. New episodes of The Ron... Wait, what? Shoot. New episodes of season six of The Ron Dan Show are available every Monday on all podcasting streaming networks. If you aren't already, make sure you follow, listen, and subscribe to The Ron Dan Show. The Ron Dan Show is both audio and visual and is available on YouTube.com. From Ron Dance, the funniest human being to ever grace the face of this sweet earth, is back for the fourth installment Thank of you, this Alex. coffee series. <laughs> She's so nice. <laughs> Dance tells jokes. Join Dance on May 1st at the Dragonfly, located at 2929 East Grand Boulevard, as he tells jokes centered around his unique take on life. With a live performance for the Secret Garden's very own AG, this is an event you don't want to miss. So save the date and pull up on Dance May 1st and let them know that the Ron Dan Show sent you. Tickets for Dance Tells Jokes Volume 4 are available at eventbrite.com. Link in bio? Sure. Link in bio. <laughs> no, it is, it is in my bio. It is in my bio. The Ron Dan Show is shot and recorded at Every Media, located on 123 South Main Street in Royal Oak, Michigan. In other news, a parent dresses an Easter bunny inadvertently handed out colorful eggs stuffed with condoms at an elementary school in Austin last week. Most of the eggs were filled with candy, but a handful contained packages of condoms. One of the parents who works at a pharmacy had been dressed up as the Easter Bunny for a safe sex presentation at an area clinic. She kept the costume on when she arrived at the school to pick up her second grader and was immediately mobbed by the children. (laughs) In response, the woman handed out eggs filled with candy. When she ran out, she asked her husband to get more, and he apparently brought back some bad eggs. The school district is now reviewing its safety protocols. (laughs) Wow. Hey, Dance. Yes, Alex. Did you know that camels have three eyelids? Nice. Random fact, I don't know why I knew that, but I did. Why would you know that? I don't know. You know, I get high and watch National Geographic. Oh. <laughs> um, also, your stomach turns red when you blush. And never forget, polar bears aren't actually white. They have see-through fur, which reflects the white light from the sun, and their skin is actually black. Get some of that. 
<laughs> so <laughs> polar bears are actually black. Get some of that, mm. Bricks. Welcome back, Bricks. Thanks. What up, motherfuckers? That's a dollar. There we go. I've been practicing that all day. Hey, motherfuckers. That's a dollar. It's also a dollar. What up, motherfuckers? Yeah. So I let it down. What up, motherfuckers? That's a dollar also. <laughs> Are you trying to make up for lost time? No. Did you have the GPS how to get here? Actually. <laughs> <laughs> Drove right past me. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No. I remember. You did remember. Mm-hmm. All right. So tell us about your exploits since you've been gone. Where you been? You've been in other countries? Tell Everywhere. Me you know. Yes. Worldwide <sighs> bricks. I've been out here. Yeah, where you been at? Tell us where you been. Um, so they seen you in six I, weeks. I went to Chicago. Nigga, <laughs> Because <laughs> everybody loves Chicago, okay. right? All right. I would I go did. backwards. Okay. I went to Chicago. Okay. What'd you do in Chicago? Um, Just hung out with my sister, okay. visited with niece? my baby niece. Okay. She's so baby. Okay. Such a drama queen. She got it honest. Yeah, her mama is a hot ass mess. The right. entire yeah, yeah, the whole bloodline. Um, well, it is what it is. Yeah, um, <laughs> had dinner with my girlfriend. Okay, you know, so it's what a good up, time. Lauren? What up, Amber? And Ashley. And Ashley. Yes. <laughs> um, and then the week before that, we went to Turkey. Okay. Istanbul and Cappadocia. Okay. Um, God bless it was you. Snow- Thank you. It looked cool and cold. It was snowing like and cold yeah, cold all, the whole time, but okay. we made the best of it. Um, we literally went for the balloons. Okay. Never got on one. <laughs> and then the day that we were leaving, they took flight. So it was like very hot air balloons. Salty. Yeah, you was gonna do that? Hell yeah! I'm actually very surprised. I didn't think you would do something like really? that. Really? Yeah, I didn't think you would do something like that. Yeah, I know, I'm happy you would because you gotta have an open mind out here in the streets. Yeah, I'm dope. so I'm dope. hopefully I can do it in New Mexico in October. So okay. we'll see. Okay, but um, yeah, it was just too cold and like the wind and all mm-hmm. that. So we couldn't do it. Um, but it was it was great, wonderful experience, beautiful place. All right, mm-hmm. the food in Turkey was. <laughs> Why? Wow. It just wasn't if anybody's good. Turkish, if anybody Turkish listening to this, please. The, they the know. Views the views <laughs> <laughs> they know. Bricks is not. I mean, it's the, a whole country you talking the about. apple tea had us by the by the throat. Was at least the coffee. Good? It was so good. I heard the, like I heard they had good. I coffee didn't have any coffee. Tea. We had yeah. the apple tea though. Slap. The bomb. Yes. We were all at the bars drinking apple tea, um, but the food. Was just like so the bad scale of one Mediterranean. Like four? Everywhere you went, I would say like three or four. Yeah, well, I went to Colombia back in December and way better. Like the way food better. there is just like incredible. Nice. So yeah. So overall, you enjoyed. I mean, would cool. you go back? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, in the summer. <laughs> um, <laughs> right. And probably wouldn't stay in a cave because that was yeah. bad too. I mean, the elevator. Cool. Yeah. So you was homeless. You been homeless? Basically. Home? basically. It took me a couple hours, though. I mean, <laughs> next time you got me. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. It was a cave, a real life cave that they turned into a hotel. Yeah. Wow. So it was like no they insulation. Had running water. We had, it, yeah, water, heat. You know, yeah. um, but we got like a fire every night. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it was no elevators. Wow. Yeah, it was bad. And it was like multi floor. Yeah, so like, had the nerve to be like up down over here, nope. over here. We were like in the cut on the lowest uh-huh. part of it, but it was cool. What about the Turkish men? How do they treat you over there? Uh, we really didn't run into that many men. Wait, what? Yeah, right. Um. <laughs> I mean, they were cool. Nobody tried to like fuck. Wow. Well, she is. She is on one wow. day. Ain't she? I mean, no one tried to do it to me. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> but for whatever reason, do it to me sound worse. For real, though. That's <laughs> that. like, but I mean, you know, they were cool. They were nice. Oh, Our waiters God. were nice. You know, the guy who um, was like running the hotel, so nice. We were calling him. He had left. Oh my God, I gotta tell y'all this real quick, and then okay. we move on. That's okay. So he left his coat. So the guy who does like the little night. Shift, whatever. Okay. He comes in to light our fire. He left oh, his coat. Oh, light your fire? I thought you said you didn't do that with No, not that fire. Oh. Yeah, that one's still dim. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so he comes in. He takes oh. his coat off. First of all, what the fuck you take your coat off to start Tonight? a fire? Okay. You know what I mean? Maybe he didn't want to catch a fire. No. Nah, uh-uh. Right so he left, <laughs> right? right? Uh-huh. So the way the cave worked, you literally have to lock yourself in. So you have to put the key in, lock the door, put the key in to get out, okay. right? This sounds like all sexual stuff, but keep going. Oh, well, you know, yeah. it's just a key. Okay. <laughs> so he comes back like two hours later, like knock, knock, knock. It's like three in the morning. And he's like, uh, I left my coat 
So we looking yeah, like, right. you know, and he's like, it's Muhammad. That was his name. Of he's like, I left my right. I, I left my coat. So we have the lights off, <laughs> but like kind of not off. Uh-huh. So I jump up, you know, like what the fuck, you know? Yeah. So he's like, still knocking. It's freezing outside, y'all. It had to be 10 degrees. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, I see a coat. I'm like, does it have a hood? He says, probably. Oh, hell no. I said, girl, get your ass up. This is not mine. Mm-hmm. So we, this is literally happening behind the door. And then get this. The key was in the door. The door was unlocked. Oh, no. Yes. So now I'm standing in front of the door. And I'm just telling her. And so my friend, goofy bitch, just sitting there. <laughs> like, we about to die. And you just go. So I'm like, bitch, get your ass up. This is not Muhammad, you know. So he's outside just knocking, knocking, knocking. So finally, she get up. I have her hold the door while I lock, or I hold the door. She lock it, and then we like, you know, um, we look out the window, mm-hmm. and then it was him, and we mm-hmm. let him in, you know. <laughs> so I, well, I, I want to know what he was doing in his ten degrees <laughs> for two hours without his coat. Like, where were you at, bro? Well, that's exactly. the thing. So when he left out, maybe because it was so warm, he didn't even like pay attention. So he went right back up to his room. I oh, think we okay. were the only one using him. Okay. Like oh, no one okay, else okay. was calling him for nothing. We had yeah. his um, WhatsApp. Yeah. We okay. was texting. Okay. Him. Sounds like an escort to me, but uh, I mean, you know. But I was, that was cool. <laughs> Last question: What you do about drugs? <sighs> we smuggled our own, going. <laughs> oh, and then going back, it was just like you know, we had like edibles, candy, okay. gummies, okay. you know. Got you so we had enough to get right back on. Because the there's no weed. Uh, Risk Rick, you find out how much weed is in Turkey. Yeah, <laughs> if she can hear me. Uh, I have questions about smuggling, but I'll yeah. ask you later. Okay. I'm just curious. Yeah, yeah, for asking for a friend. I bet. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I haven't been here for a while, but Trill has a segment where he tells us what's trash. It's called <laughs> what Trill, Trill thinks is trash. Tells us what's trash. Yes, exactly. So Trill, we and I do know about that segment. Oh, do you remember? It's that? a great segment. Okay, go ahead. Uh, the food in Turkey is <laughs> no, <I'm sorry>. no. <laughs> thank you uh, yeah uh, so I hear but uh, attention seekers man we man, we okay. had this meeting recently. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. attention tell seekers tell us about them tell are, us about it. tell us about attention seekers attention seekers are dog they are ruining the world like seriously yes. every single day it's driving me absolutely nuts yes in every form or fashion give me a definition of an, uh, an attention seeker somebody who of course seeking attention but goes be up beyond to oh be in the front of something that has just, something to do with them they just gotta just do stuff just like relax man like listen even with this table right here, right? right. I, I don't feel like I'm the coolest person here. It's like, y'all, we see y'all, everybody yeah. know dance. With I'm, I'll just be chilling. I'm yes. not cool, right? You are very cool. But, very cool. but I'm not cool. But it's just some people out here who literally like try to be cool but have no idea how to be cool. They just jump in front of everything mm-hmm. to be like, but relax. It's cool. Just relax. Yeah, just relax. Mm-hmm. That's relax. Yes. Messing up everything. So attention seekers driving me crazy yeah. daily. Every day, trash, trash as hell. Trash, trash. because yeah. it's not everything's not about you. No, no, some exactly. things can be about some things can be about you, but everything's not everything Every, is not about you. Exactly. And then when and then <laughs> it's like one of those things where it'd be like uh, nobody, and then you just come get <laughs> exactly. you, and then you just <laughs> yes. out, of, out of out of out of nowhere, yeah. out of complete nowhere. Mm-hmm. You also had a bad experience with a cannabis uh, company recently I too. Yes. What, can you tell us about that, please? Who was so that was. I told you, didn't I? No, that was. You told me. You didn't oh, tell, yeah. no, that wasn't cannabis. Go Puff. Oh, Go Puff. I, so, yes. I think because you say Go Puff. Oh, yeah. The see. delivery? Yes. Is this my segment? Yes, go ahead. Uh, okay, introduce it. Well, which you one is it? it? No, Bricks Break Down. No, what? it was something else. I had another oh, segment yeah, the, where the, I talked about. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, uh, wind Up Punch of the Week. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bricks, who gets your wind up? You didn't marry someone. I forgot what the exactly. second was. Okay, Bricks, who gets your Wind Up Punch of the Week? Why I on up? Go Puff. <laughs> Coming with the left hook on your ass. Because, okay. Oh, my God. So, I order. I needed some tissues, some, like, you know, things, right? <laughs> Snacks, having uh-huh. girl problems, you know. Okay. Cool. Go Puff. That's what uh-huh. they're here for, right? Uh-huh. Couldn't find your earrings. Having girl problems. Go ahead. Yeah, period. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Whatever that means. Okay. Um, order. I'm waiting. The app is not, it's nothing like DoorDash. DoorDash would never do this to me. Okay. It's not updating. It's not, you know, so I don't know what's happening, but they took my money. Mm-hmm. So uh-huh. somebody better be on the way. Okay. You know what better I mean? Better be on their way. Yeah. So it's it's not updating. I'm I'm trying to refresh it. It's just saying like we're having problems. Come back in two hours. Well, no, because how long y'all about to take to drop my stuff off? Right. Mm-hmm. So 
I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Finally, I go online and it just so happened to, oh no, I mean on my email and it just so happened to tell me like it'll be here in this range, right? So it sent me time frames. It ends up coming, right? Mm -hmm. Halfway falling off my porch. (laughs) This shit, I mean, it was, yeah, right? The bag was open. It looked like it was supposed to be sealed. Okay. So the shit is just like falling out, right? Mm -hmm. And then people do this dumbass thing where they sit things right in front of my screen door. So when I'm trying to like open it, it's falling even more. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I grab my stuff and I'm in the bed. It's about an hour later. They text me talking about your stuff is outside. <laughs> so my stuff just would have been sitting outside if if, right. if yeah. I didn't get up or try to you know figure out what was going Do you on. Have a porch pirates in your in your condo in your in your condo. Uh, no. Okay. Nope. Mm-mm. Okay. Um. So I immediately just venting mm-hmm. <laughs> went on Instagram because where else do you go to vent, right? Right. Exactly. And I tagged their asses. Go I puff is trash. Yeah. I said go puff is trash emoji. <laughs> Bottom line. Yeah. And immediately, I'm talking about 10 minutes, they text me back like, hey, Raquel, we're so sorry that yeah, you had this horrible right. experience. We're going to give you $20. Didn't I say I want to use y'all no more? Right. But fine. <laughs> you know, so I used it the next day, and I'll deal with the asses. I done got rid of the app and everything. Well, y'all can literally go going, to hell. All right, but what if you need some, somebody <laughs> delivered to your crib? Somebody no, I, I just have to get my ass up and go to Meyer, go to Walmart, go to the yeah. gas station. Until you have the girl problems again. You ain't gonna want to leave. You I like, mean, okay. listen. Yeah. Is it a nigga out there? And not like a woman scorned, go puff. So y'all Period. better ain't nothing like done. a woman scorned. I'm done. So DoorDash does it too. So I'll just go to mm-hmm. DoorDash. So I do have some bad news for everybody. Uh-oh. And I felt like this is the most mature for of everybody who's on the show. <laughs> that I need to say this in front of them, so I'm going to mm. say this. We did not make the finals for the Detroit oh. Choice Awards. Are who you did? kidding me? I don't know who made it. Wait, 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 come on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you already winded up. You already winded up. You should have told me that first. <laughs> oh, my Go God. Go Puff could have so, waited. But... We don't need them awards. We Absolutely know we fire. We know we fire. Absolutely. Fired. Plus, if we don't know if we would have did, we had to be here no more. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is true. But we don't. Oh, Alex is about to find out who the final. I just want to see who the final. Yeah, are. find out who the final. How do you find out? Are. Oh, it's on their it's site. Probably, it's probably on our site. Oh, I didn't. Because I, like I, I didn't go back and. and so what do they do? Contact you or huh? somebody? Uh, you know who told me. You, you already know who told me. I know. Ricks. Oh, the, the, the oh, you know, didn't tell me. The, uh, the person who know everything. Yes, this the is per, true. The person who know everything. Okay, it's fine. We we have the Danzies. This is true. And those I, are I just way dancing. any awards. Which is way more prestigious. Yeah. And, and we got, our, got a winner in the house with the Bridget yeah. Rick show. Yeah, hello. You know what I'm saying? And you can sit on your award, so it's nice. Wow. Wow. This is this this is where it gets to the point where I don't want to. Hey, why would you, <laughs> bro? I found it's my a thumb. I, I found my dancing in a winter coat. A I was like, oh, I, I, wanted, I forgot I want to dance. Would you out? Like, <laughs> would you out? Would you out in the open? I mean, would you out? In the open? Would you outside? With it? No, <laughs> no. I had it. It was like hanging on the hook where I was uh, going to like, oh, let me take this yeah. coat and put it. I was like, oh, yo, I forgot. I it. It was dancing. So you didn't put it in a trophy case at all? Not, now now it is. Yeah, uh, now for sure. Mine's in my weed drawer. Who we? No. <laughs> they like ghetto and ain't updated like they were supposed to. So it's the same hey, people on I'm there? sure Raquel has it. Yeah, I'm about to just go to Instagram. Yeah, we'll find out. We'll find out next time. tendency to update the Instagram before their website, and that is the yes. most annoying <laughs> shit in the world to me. Like, but uh, for the good, good people in Detroit, everybody who voted, I just want to yes. say thank you from the bottom of my heart. Yeah, for even Thank you for voting us. I mean, thank for us even being nominated. Yeah, you know, it's, it's, sure. I'm grateful to even to even be nominated. And Because there's so many podcasts. It's so many podcasts. So to be able to be and that group with all those people, I'm just happy to be there. So thank you, Detroit Choice of Words. Thank you, everybody who who voted. For Shizzle Dizzle. Yeah, exactly. I found it. I wasn't even, okay, was even up there for a uh, photographer, Single though. That's crazy. Single Mommy yeah. Hustle. That's crazy. Single Mommy Hustle. What Up Though and My Sister Circle. Yeah. I don't know any of those, but congratulations, oh, congratulations to you guys. Congratulations, <laughs> congratulations, congratulations to you guys. You know, yeah. I... Wish you nothing but the best. And uh, just for the record, y'all got us for cheap. This time, next time, the price is going up. Detroit. Incomparable. The man that wears so many hats. The the MC. The fashion fashion icon. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
And now we're back to your father's favorite show, Ooh, The Ron Dan Show. New episodes of season six of The Ron Dan Show are now available on all podcasting streaming networks. If you are already, make sure you follow, listen, and subscribe to The Ron Dan Show. The Ron Dan Show is not only audio, it's also visual and is available on YouTube.com. Just search The Ron Dan Show. Ron Dance, the funniest human being to ever grace the face of this sweet earth, is back for the fourth installment well, of his so comedy much. series. Thank you so much. So nice of you today. What? Dance tells jokes. So nice today. Who knew? Join Ron <laughs> Dance. <laughs> Join Ron Dance on May 1st I didn't say it. for the fourth installment. Wait, no, I messed up. Sorry. Join Ron Dance on May 1st at the Dragonfly, located at 2929 East Grand Boulevard, as he tells jokes centered around his unique take on life. With the live performance from the Secret Garden's very own AG, this is an event you do not want to miss. So save the date and pull up on Dance May 1st and let them know that the Ron Dance Show sent you. Tickets for the Ron Dance Tales Volume, wait, Tales Jokes Volume 4 are available at eventbrite.com. Just search for Dance Tales Jokes. Jokes, yes. The Ron Dance Show is shot and recorded at Every Media, located in 123 South Main Street in Royal Oak, Michigan. In other news, a woman protesting the mass killing of chickens tried to glue herself to a basketball court. So that's racist. I don't know how that's racist, but it's racist. As I well. love chicken. Like, why she got to pick a basketball court? Yeah, but don't. Aren't you supposed to kill chickens? But go ahead. Yeah, I mean, exactly. How is she going to kill? In Mass's house, would you get chicken fingers? Right. Circle of life. What are you supposed to eat? Tuesday, during a play in game between the hosts, Minnesota Timberwolves, and the Los Angeles Clippers. Sideline reporter Ali LaForest said that the interloper. Why do you use words that I can't pronounce? Interloper is a good word. I, tried I, thought to, be, I thought you'd be impressed with me because you're such a good ride. I got questions. She tried okay. to glue herself to the floor and was resisting security. The protester left a white handprint. Of course she did. On the hardwood, <laughs> and Sartorio wore a t-shirt saying, Glenn Taylor roasts animals alive to protest <laughs> the like mass killing mm-hmm. of chickens amid an avian flu outbreak on Timberwolves' owner, Glenn Taylor's Iowa egg. Far. Mm. That's some real white shit. Yeah. The group alleged <laughs> the suffocation That's method like used to kill the birds was inhumane and against state law. But were they good? Mm. That's what I'm saying. I mean, are they seasoning? D- <laughs> does these way, you know, lower yeah. the price of chicken wings? I'm tired of paying oh for Oh my gosh, they're expensive. It's hell. Okay. Hey, Nance. Yes, Alex. Did you know that scallops have his weight? Like scallops, like the food scallops? Yes. So, okay. Scallops have as many as 200 eyes. Nice. Also, you burn more calories sleeping than watching TV. Mm. Wish I knew that. Mm. <laughs> and never forget, most of the dust in your house is dead human skin cells. Yeah. How about what about that? When's last time you dusted? Ooh, wee. <laughs> oh, I don't even want to say that. I apologize to my plants today. So. Oh. I be apologizing. About I had to apologize to my players. Like, oh, sorry, no. bro. I be like, I'm sorry. Like, we hanging in there. We up. Mm-hmm. I'm for sure eating that chicken, though, right? God's grace. Hell yeah, fuck them. I mean, oh, I mean, yeah, I mean, sure. I mean, I'm trying to figure out how the hell did she get into the arena mm-hmm. with all this stuff, but they can't. They don't even let you bring your purses now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like That's you true. can't even purses are a part of my outfit. What? Wait, no. She all she needed was super glue. Yeah, but how you get that in there? Like, you gotta take your pockets out. You know, oh, yeah, if it's flat, because the super glue containers are. Yeah, like usually made of all plastic. She's gonna be stuck in her so they're, bra. Oh, yeah. they're not gonna but shoot to the thing. But isn't it glue made from human? I mean, animal byproducts. Uh, I don't know. I'm sure. Because sure. so she can feed her whole. If she an animal. Wait, wait a minute. <laughs> you gonna use glue? Defeats the whole purpose, right? Yeah. I just have questions about that. It's, it's, well, it's, we, we know what, what that where that person's nationality was. I'm, I'm sure. Yeah. We have to say that, because I'm pretty sure she wasn't out there protesting for George Floyd. Wasn't that in Minnesota too? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was. So yes. it's like you out here and you doing all this for the chicken That's situation. Yeah. Never gonna meet, but you don't give a f about the police yeah. out there. I'm pretty sure you wasn't trying to like Ooh, super glue yourself to the target. Like, exactly. out there Come on, now. And we supposed to kill preach. the chicken. That's yeah. my problem with white people. Like they be posting yeah. and protesting. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. not all white people. Let me rephrase. They all try to come at me because that's the thing lately. Yeah. But <laughs> I'm saying like. Mm-hmm. 
All of that shit be unnecessary. Yeah. And white people do too fucking much on this shit. That's right. a dollar. Do- do- We're going to be rich this, this, this season. It's like, actually two dollars because she's also being super black. Rich. Yeah, super but I'm sorry, super. Alex. I didn't mean to throw you under the bus. It's birth. totally okay. It's totally given yeah. uh, our We Are Revolutionaries. Yeah. Okay. Ain't mm-hmm. nothing wrong with a little rotisserie, right? Oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. I love a chicken. A good, a good a roasted chicken at Sam's Club slap. So good. Yeah. It's slap. It's only $5.96. All right, ladies. Or eight or whatever. Since I have all ladies here, I do want to ask a question. And I'm going to start with Bricks, and I'm going to say you for last. We'll go around. Oh, okay. okay. The difference between R&B when you was a kid and R&B <laughs> now. Mm-hmm. What's the difference in your, in your personal opinion? There is no R&B now. <laughs> That's the biggest difference. Yeah. What is it now, then? I mean, you know, just people singing. Just people singing? Yeah, I feel like I don't... Do Do I know any R&B singers? Jasmine Sullivan and all that? I them, feel like so? Jasmine Sullivan might... I mean, because they talk about... They, like, rhythm, R&B is rhythm and blues. And I yeah. feel like there are some artists that give us the blues, you okay. know? Like, okay. they be talking about their problems. All right. But it's not a lot of them. Biggest difference, you think? So, you, you saying R&B don't even exist no more. Says, there what? is no R&B now. Okay. Cool. That's still my answer. <laughs> Although I love hotels. <laughs> I love hotels. What's hotels? Jasmine Sullivan's oh, album. God. It was really good. Okay. The only Jasmine Sullivan album I've oh, ever listened not to. Not hotels. Hotels. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, hotels. I thought you meant like... Like hotelling. Like, I thought you meant huh. holiday in. Yeah. Say no, what? Yeah, oh, my you. gosh. Okay. We're telling um, age. I think, holiday. <laughs> I think age. that like the... R&B, when we were kids, had a little bit more substance versus now it's just like the people that are giving us the rhythm and blues, it's not a lot of them, you okay. know, that you really can, like, feel the, the feel it. Okay. But, um, I mean, it was definitely better when we were kids, I felt like it, because we were taking our hearts out as little kids and had yeah. no clue what we were talking about. No. Yeah. So like, talk, talk about adultery, spend a night at other men's houses. Mary J. <laughs> Blige, like, I used to be singing at the top of my lungs and didn't face them problems. For another twenty years, yeah, right. you know. Like, so you just recited it to yourself, when you and then it was that? like, oh my gosh, this is what she was talking about. So now it all hit different. Totally hit different. Right. Alex. So I feel like R and B in a traditional sense, it was just like a level of soul and intimacy that was mm-hmm. there, right? Okay. Like I would never say, like you look at people, right? Like you look at like your real like soul R and B, like. The ones that would be on BET mm-hmm. with the scrolling, like, you got Mary White, you got Luther. Yeah. Like, I don't think powerful singers like that exist anymore. Okay. And, like, that level of, like, intimacy mm-hmm. isn't really there for real. Everybody wants to talk about sex. Like, cert- there are certain people who kind of encompass it, like yeah. Ari Lennox, Jasmine Sullivan. Mm-hmm. But it's just, like, it's not as powerful and as raw. Like, mm-hmm. um, Be Happy by Mary J. Blige is one. Or you think of, like, Faith Evans, like, you used to let, like... The, the way you used to love me like you think yeah. of songs like that and it's like don't none of that shit make me, none of the shit we listen to now make me want to clean up my house right. yeah <laughs> <laughs> you gotta clean your house already. Like, you know or saying? gospel like, yeah. Yeah. Like, everybody know that I throw you my house a money bag yo or yeah. Anita Baker like yeah. none of that <laughs> listen, really if, if Anita Baker came on in my house on Saturday morning I already knew what's up so I was gonna grab my, my, my plastic gloves <laughs> I already knew what was about to, right. what was about to happen down. exactly like yeah. it's some cool stuff but I kind of feel like low key as much as I may not care for her like Keisha Cole might be the clothes last closest mm-hmm. thing we had to like real R&B. What about SZA? She cute. But yeah, like, cute. okay, let me I pray. like it. Let me explain the Keisha Cole thing. I don't keep, Keisha Cole sounds like a screechy cat to me now in my okay. adult years. Okay. But when you think about like, you know, love, I should have cheated, like songs like that, yeah. we don't hear that no more. I Everybody whispers. Okay. Mm-hmm. What, you think, what about Beyonce? What is Beyonce considered? She a pop star to me. Yeah, Beyonce's she pop. Just she star. is like, she just she's whatever. like Michael Jackson to me. Like, yeah. I would never consider Michael Jackson It's R&B. not a particular genre. For yeah, because she, yeah. yeah. like, she does a lot. Yeah. Okay. But I mean, I guess I would put SZA there because then I also get into the just like the skill and the talent of mm-hmm. it and she's a great singer yes so, so I think a lot of them know. can write great and writers songs. Yeah. I think mm-hmm. like her SZA I do think Janae I think they can write great songs but I don't know if they're like traditional R&B no exactly mm-hmm. what about the new this new person Lucky Day that I've been hearing about I haven't listened That's to rapper, enough of his music it? I have no. not listened to Lucky Day but I know oh. but the thing is Lucky Day is also week. older though Oh, I know that. Lucky mm-hmm. Day is like 36 or 37. Okay. Oh. So it's still very older. different. I'm ancient, yeah. Huh? Yeah, I said older. I don't need that. Older. Because you still got to look at like their yeah. kids who are like 22 who yeah. are out yeah. here like saying mm-hmm. this stuff. Like the one girl from here, uh, Naja. Tia Marie? No. Queen Naja. Queen Naja. Oh. Yeah. Tia Marie. Like Lizzo? Lizzo makes pop music for She's style. a pop okay. star. Nisha Nache. What Does happened to Nisha Nache? I don't know. I haven't heard anything. Is that not that I got this money? 
No, no that's what Brittany. Oh, Nisha and Shayla. Y'all both hit me up. Come to the show. Uh, the one when she was talking about like. The nigga wasn't shit. Damn, what was the one? Said, what was the you, name of the nobody song? Nobody was cussing before you got here. Uh-oh. What was the name I, of the song? I said dollar for making people cuss. Listen, but it's gonna only bother come on me. Sh- but I just got one statement to make. Only yes. come on the show if y'all got something to promote. Why, wait, why, is, why Why do you think that? Whose rule is that, first of all? Mine. <laughs> I'm gonna go crazy. That was the name of the song. Yeah. It was yeah, everywhere yeah. for um, a minute. I go, I go, I go, I go. That, no. Yes. We'll play it for you uh, later. Because you'll be like, oh, I heard that before. I heard on the, I heard on the oh. file, too, was her smash hit, right? I don't know. Oh, no, I'm on a club. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, Nisha Nashay. Nisha Nashay. Oh, it's a good song, good Nisha Nashay. Yeah. Pull up on me, Nisha Nashay. But why can't they come and they got something to promote? Because y'all just going to be talking like... You know what it's it still is. still humans. No, 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 okay. no. Let I can me, talk to you let, all the time. You don't got no song. Let me say what she's saying. Okay. Yeah. You pick guests that don't make sense. It's not necessarily people don't have nothing going on or people haven't had nothing. That's a dollar for making me make... No, for real. Not that people haven't had anything going on like for a while. Like, whatever. I feel like we're an urban show. We need urban people. However. However, we have had random people that don't necessarily fit into the scope of our yes. show and have had to adjust the mm. way that we present our show so they can be here. And I don't agree with that. Yes, because we had one guest and then <laughs> she had a hat on and said, what? After Make we- dick big again. <laughs> Amen. So Period. let me tell you how, how the guest thing works around here. I really don't want anybody on the show. I really <laughs> us to do it. That's just me being honest. I don't I don't want to offend anybody. So if you have to be on my show, I really don't want you on my show. Yeah. But I don't mind using my platform to help you promote something. So See, promote something. But some people just come to me in, in the in the club all the time. That's how you got on the show. Okay, but I'm me. <laughs> They're not me. <laughs> it's different, that's though. True. And that spot is already taken, right? Yeah. Period. But that's and, I came, and I came on here and I shone. Like, yeah. We kind of needed risk and risk when they came yeah. around. We like, did. We, was, we, we were we was kind of. It was only like three of us. <laughs> it was. Because yeah. nobody could Four stick. Four seats, three people. Nobody could stick around could stick or around. they were racist. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> we brought the party. Whoops. So, <laughs> it is what it is, but that's what happened. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Well, we've only had two guests this 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 season, right? We had well, Eddie Connor Jr. I'm a guest. <laughs> Good to have you. How and Miss Corona. That's yeah, it. Yeah, you know who's missing though. Like there are certain people who are just like no. Spit Spit was, was here last week. Yeah, he counts. Yeah, and Dwayne gonna be here next week. That's what I was about to say. Dwayne like, be back. Yeah, he hasn't Dwayne? been here. Dwayne be back. Dwayne be back. It's like him, he been, he back and Marv. Those only ones. Of course he is. It's a singing season now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Did he do R and B? Was that R and B? That's R and B, ain't yeah. it? Yeah. Also, but he's been doing that all the time. Yeah. And he would be. He's not new. He's, he's Neo like, Soul. A so it's a Neo Soul is his whole like other thing. Yeah. It's Dwayne. It's. Music Soul Child, mm-hmm. it's Indiari, it's all of them. Oh, like, Me too. All the you, you little, would. I'm about to burn sage, smoke some weed, and just chill. That's mm-hmm. what I listen to. Tons like of sage that. will always be will always be burned around Period. the world. Yeah, listen. Mm-hmm. Always. You chill, it. that's like the after the house is clean. You light the candle, yeah. you just sit down, yeah, smoke a joint, and chill. Part. That's Dope. what you listen mm-hmm. to. The word I had trouble spelling this week is allegedly. Okay, I'm going to remember that. So for my battle rap, and we know how to spell oh. allegedly because yeah. that's our that we always okay. talk about allegedly. So allegedly, Rick's always be talking allegedly about allegedly. is my uh, don't get sued word. When <laughs> you get sued if you say allegedly, it is a hard word to spell. So I have been having to say it in my phone when I don't know how to. So I type oh, all yeah. of it. I'd be like, I'd be like allegedly. What you do? Like, you mess up the L E Y L Y. Uh, allege. So I spelled A L E D G E. Oh, you messed up. Huh? Alleged. I can't wait to our battle rap. Because I'm because I'm, I'm hanging on alleged. How how to spell? <laughs> Alex, I'm gonna be like okay. allegedly. allegedly. That would actually be a great push. And then the Lee alleged Lee L E E A ledge. No. Oh no, it's an A in there. A the word ledge a Lee. So A L E D G E A L E E is allegedly. Allegedly. Oh my goodness. How you spell allegedly, Bricks? A L L E G. A L L E G E D L Y. Very good. Round of applause for Bricks. Yeah. Uh, off of six weeks, her, her spelling skills are still t- uh, top notch. Oh, period. Good job. Go Puff did not take everything away from me. Oh, no, I would kill Go Puff. <laughs> I would kill Go Puff too because I used to make lots of money off of them and they some lames. Yeah. Why? Wait, 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 make some money. I've never even heard I of used Go to work was, there. I thought yeah. it was a week. I never knew that. No. And I thought it was too, but, yeah, I, but right before I. Why'd you start working? I, I, I can't imagine. So I used if to I ever make... ordered something, you pulled up. <laughs> Well, first of all, you never see me because I'm unless you order weed. I mean, tobacco or wine, but because I'm dropping it off. Okay. But um, yeah, I used to I used to work for GoPlus. Good money, make good money. I used to make bank. For real, 
Do I need to pick up a new job? No, there no, not right now. They not they not popping. Why, like, why, why, they why giving have... away money. Like <laughs> it's I, I, so for instance, we used to get like bonuses based off of how many deliveries we made. People give you tips. I used to make fourteen dollars an hour plus everything else, right? Right. They w- first we started off with ten, but that was in the pandemic, so it was like you was making money still. Mm-hmm. People was tipping. Um, now, or at least when I stopped, we went to 14 and we went down to 10 and they went to 975 and then they changed the bonus structure and then people stopped tipping. So where you would go, you work a week and you make a hun- you make hundreds of dollars, you work in a weekend and can't even make a hundred. Oh no, I'm out. So it's no point. Like the last time I worked, I worked two days and I made like a hundred dollars barely. No, it's that much. You're like, gonna walk around and find a hundred dollars or something like that. I could like, be in my house and find a hundred dollars. Right. Yeah. yeah, but I used to. Ooh, that was my little side joint. Did you ever deliver joints? No, we don't have weed. We oh. just have tobacco. And, and that's wine. also false advertisement. Yeah. Go yeah. fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Because that's a perfect name for a weed delivery yeah. service. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. it's like you holding a spot for a great weed delivery service, like you just said. That's and then there's Ease. Up. Ease is the weed delivery. Yeah, weed. Yeah. Go puff is not. Yeah. Well, uh, and weed, weed maps. Because my friend. Oh, yeah. Uh, which is exactly. pretty much. Is it weird? It's, yeah. It, grow up, weed yeah. maps. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, it's too confusing. Yeah, it's, really? it's not user friendly at all. At all. Mm-hmm. Uh, Rich Car Ricky has a, um, a segment called Ricky's Recaps, where she tells all the rabbit holes we went down. Talk to us, Ricky. First, I have a segment called Risky Business. Oh, yeah, I forgot about and, that. Um, this is, wait for it. First of all, she is the leader of announcing her own. <laughs> At least Brish may be announcing her. She, 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 no, I, I ain't even waiting for you because you're going to forget. Go ahead. But all I got to say for Risky Business today is sometimes it's too risky to tell y'all. I hope you caught my wink. Anyways. All right, so now we're gonna go to oh Ricky's that recap. That was a waste. She, she not only she not only announced her own segment, but, but also had nothing say to say. Shit. <laughs> I said enough. That's a point. You definitely, you definitely get drunk, Uncle, at the barbecue. Yeah, for sure. sure. Like, <laughs> Alex, no, she know my risky business for the week. Uh, but anyway, Ricky, she was trying to show her boobs earlier too before you got here. I did not show them my boobs. I was like, is it enough boob out? And that's like, I don't want to say that. I was like, the y'all want to see it, y'all. I know what's up. But anyways. Motorboat. Nobody was doing this before you got here. <laughs> Ricky's recap. I wasn't even here yet. <laughs> she felt my energy. Your aura. I knew she was coming in. Or horror. <laughs> my <laughs> horror. 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 I like that. Yeah, you, you, can, you, can, you can keep that one. That one's for free. <laughs> okay. I'm about to put it on a shirt. Let me text Amber right now. Oh, no. Ricky's recap. <laughs> Respect my horror. Peace. Glowy is a word. Giving Whoa. off a steady light. Oh, nice. Um, Highlights has been around since 1946. Um, at the sperm bank, the donation <laughs> process is simple. The man walks up to a private room, which is usually stocked with pornography, and masturbates into a sterile container. Told you. That is, I, it's I no way I would not recommend black light in that room. It's though. no, oh, um, Alex. It's no way possibly. I'm, I, I, I'm doing that. I'm no way I'm giving sperm. There's no way I'm going. I'm not doing that. I'm just not going. That's public. Uh, I mean, well, sometimes it's for like nakedness. You, you know, it could be for donation, money. Sometimes you need to do in vitro fertilization. Yeah, sometimes just like to that. check the man's sperm count to stuff check, like that. And make check sure stuff health. isn't wrong with yeah. you. You think they categorize the porn? Uh, they probably do, honestly. They probably like, Wait, what? What's category- like? You know, like when you go there and you you looking up, is it in categories like they probably, black? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Busty, BBC, BBW, sure. father daughter, father daughter. <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm saying? Stuff like that. Big that's boobs. The best. Yeah. Right, yeah. Okay, we be high dot org. Y'all might like this. Um, said in Istanbul, we be high dot org. Istanbul, we be high. Istanbul marijuana prices are twenty eight grand, twenty five grams for eighty U S dollars. If it's more than means they're trying to cheat you as you're a foreigner. Make sure the quality is good by testing it. That's okay. They'll uh, allow you to try. Okay. And they also said, don't leave Istanbul without smoking Mary Jane. This is not optional. Try smoking weed an authentic Nargile or water pipe if you can. Okay. I want a gravity pipe. Ooh, that thing you looks so cool. Treat yourself. I oh, am. Yeah. Super glue is generally considered vegan. Like oh, most nice. glue today, super glue consists of synthetic polymer sourced from petroleum. Oh, I thought it came from horses. Horses don't make glue? Mm-hmm. So that was Elmer's. Oh. I don't know. And then, oh, that's it. <laughs> That's I it. Think that's it. All right, round of applause for Ricky's recap. Yep, that's Woo! it. Great show. Welcome back, Bricks. Welcome back to Bricks. Good to be back. Hey, Chisel, Dizzle. Uh, you plan on being here next week? You're going to go two weeks in a row. <sighs> we'll see. If the sun out, I can't make it. <laughs> Period. Uh, what do you think about today's show, Bricks? Um, good to be back. Okay. Uh, 
it was great. You know, mm-hmm. it's always a good time kicking it and talking, kicking the mm-hmm. shits. Right. You know, bringing the horror out of everybody. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> no, you're welcome. Right? Make sure you tell everybody that part too. Bringing the horror out of everybody. Uh, what do you think about today's show? Risk it Risk was Risk. horrible without pizza. Well, <clears throat> blame little. Go ahead. We can't say that. <laughs> because, no, you know, they I, might, you yeah. know. All, honestly, though, know, the show was cool. Yeah. But, you know, it was great. It was wonderful. It has great, too. Yeah, yeah period. Period. You know, I like it. Make the hood great again. Yeah, because I'm still mad that the McDonald's is gone off Finkel. Look, can we talk about it? That is the most devastating shit. Finkel and what? You that's know the Finkel Wyoming. in Wyoming. Right on the corner? Right yes. by the play place? Yes. yes. That's a, that's a uh, Apparently, land. Apparently, it closed exactly. like last Landmark. sometime last month. Yeah, my mom, because I was trying to go. She was like, that McDonald's is closed. I was like, are you for? No, it's not. And I went, and it it's was probably from the swap meet that they have across the street every day. No, it wasn't a swap meet. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be on the corner with the Walmarts. <laughs> 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 Oh, more shoes, Easter purses, Easter carpet, baskets, Mother's whatever. Day is coming up. They probably the carpets be up here. It's in the, uh, Greenfield. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> they true. got the Panther out. That's how you know it's spring in Detroit. <laughs> <laughs> that rug is hanging right and there. To, er- and to you saying everybody wants to see your boobs, Risk and I, Ricky, I say allegedly. Allegedly. Mm-hmm. I want to see it. Okay. Oh. We got it.